Hello, Live Pro customers. This is Amber Kivett with Kivett Kinetic Solutions. Um, I'm here showing um, all of you an actual live um, workout with one of my clients. She's an elite gymnast. Um, she injured her ankle. She got a lateral ankle sprain on her left ankle, and that happened uh, late last week before she went out of town. So she's here doing her rehab tonight, and so I'm here to share with you kind of what we are doing in order to uh, accelerate her recovery using life pro recovery tools so um featuring here this is nelly wave nelly and you've been doing gymnastics for how long um, 14, years. 14 years and what level are you right now uh, seven. level seven and elite level gymnastics she's club gymnast so as you can see we are using the Rumblex Pro. And the reason why we're doing this is we're trying to get uh, muscles turned on, trying to get fluid um, moving and out of the toes, especially you can see. Um, with her toes, she's got black and blue in her toes and around her ankle. And that's where the injury was, um, where, where she suffered the injury. We, uh, I, I did end up in referring her to a physician to make sure that we did not have a fracture, which she does not have, but she does have a pretty significant ankle sprain um, with some lateral ankle lig ligament damage. So we are, she's not able to walk on it. Um, she just started walking on it today without crutches and has been using a walking boot with crutches for a few days. Um, so today the idea is getting the fluid out of her foot getting some range of motion back, lowering her pain threshold, and getting the rest of her body loosened up because she's been um, immobilized for a little bit. And so we're using um, the Rumblex Pro to do that. Um, the Vivid Pro is another really good option, but because we are, she actually enjoys the sensation of this machine moving her body without her having to initiate it, she's doing this, uh, for the most part, pretty pain-free. Now, Nellie, what I'm gonna have you do, sweetie, is I want you to lift your toes and press your toes on both feet. So we're gonna use the other foot to teach the injured foot how to, how to work. Um, I'm a certified athletic trainer with a strength coach and speed agility coach background, and my specialty is instant pain relief um, and accelerating rehabilitation. So my track record for a lot of injuries is recovering injuries in half the time that most physicians state that it requires uh, to go back to performance. So that's why um, I'm excited to share with Life Pro products here because they've become an integral part of my practice and uh, we are benefiting in so many different ways, but you don't have to have an ankle injury in order to benefit from these. Um, but for those of you who have suffered an ankle injury, the ankle injury that we're dealing with is what, maybe five days old at the most? It was last Tuesday, so um, it's still pretty acute. And since she's not walking full weight bearing yet due to pain, um, the idea is to get the fluid out of that foot and get things turned on and, and moving. Um, today, you can actually see the tendon in the front of her foot and some of the structures in her foot. The other day, um, she couldn't handle me touching her and she couldn't, uh, you couldn't see much of anything going on in her foot from all the swelling. So. Um, I have got her set up on the P2 program, although it is um, not all completely low level inflammation um, or low intensity for inflammation, um, I'm wanting to activate muscles um, to start working. So that's why I'm actually resorting to the P2 program because not only are we getting low level intensity, but we're getting it adjusting into higher level intensity where we're getting the lower leg firing, we're getting the foot ankle firing, um, and it's creating an artificial pump for all of that gunk that's causing her toes to turn blue, which we see on almost all ankle injuries. It's quite normal for her to have that black and blue, that green sensation. So, but the good thing is we're actually able to start seeing her ankle bone, which we really couldn't see much of the other day. So this is, this is major progress. So we've already done 10 minutes of this and she loved the way that it felt so much and it gave her instant relief that we are doing it another round so that you all can see how we're doing this. And then from here, she's gonna get on the flex cycle and she's really gonna start to work the range of motion, which probably is not gonna feel very pleasant for her, but it's something that has to be done in order for her to start walking normal again. So we're going to use, I'm gonna be demonstrating how we use the flex cycle for getting her moving better. So how's that feel? Yeah, good stuff. 
What do you miss most about gymnastics right now since you're down? Um, everything. Everything. Being able to flip around. Yep. So a lot of times when I've got high level performing gymnastics uh, athletes in here, we have them continue to perform in their boot on some level so that they can continue to do something to stay integrated into the sport. Um, for Nellie, we're going to be doing a lot of barefoot training so that she can start turning on the sensors on the bottom of her foot to start communicating back with the brain so that she can get her balance back. Um, and so we're going to actually start doing some balance work today. So we start as quickly as we can with range of motion and balance so that once she is able to sustain good balance, then we go right on into ankle strengthening and single leg balance, single leg strength. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, we've got about three minutes left. So if anybody has any questions that you'd like to post, I can answer some questions. Um, so, so far, we have done a walking boot with a cryo cuff, and I put rock tape on her with fluid dynamic taping to help work as a lymphatic pump to get that swelling out of her foot and ankle joint. Um, she went uh, out of town over the weekend with family and was able to enjoy family time with the treatment that we provided her. And now she's in a compression ankle sleeve, no ankle brace, just compression ankle sleeve. And then from there, um, after I'm done doing this and with her using the flex cycle for getting some range of motion, and working a little bit of strength on the foot ankle, um, then I'm gonna do some flushing massage in order to push all that gunk out of her foot. And then um, we will give her some balance exercises to work on at home so that she's got some way of staying in the moment with her team and she's able to do something at the gym and then uh, here within probably by Friday she'll be able to start bearing weight on it and walking pretty comfortably so what do you think I'm excited excited I'm excited for you how long did they tell you to be out um, well, you told me two or three weeks mm -hmm. And what'd you find out? That it's definitely not that. <laughs> we knew that. that was yeah. Not... Yep. Sometimes they tell you uh, that it's way less than it really is. And sometimes they tell you that it's way more severe than what it really is. So we just have to take each individual as they come and work with each individual as they are ca capable of tolerating the discomfort as opposed to forcing things to happen. Um, and with Life Pro recovery tools, in our case today, the um, Rumblex uh, Pro platform, and I've got the Flex Cycle here. If you've not seen the new Flex Cycle, it's pretty awesome. We're gonna demonstrate how you use it here in just a second. Go ahead and hit the um, triangle button on there to go ahead and kick that off since we've had almost 20 minutes in on that, okay? And so, for all of you guys that are out there watching, again, if you have any questions, um, I'm going to let you guys see kind of what we're doing here for rehab. Um, bear with me here as I switch out my device. So, okay, so go ahead and lift your feet up. Now, before I put you on the flex cycle, go ahead and try and stand up on your foot and just see what you feel different. Because we know we're in a safe, controlled setting, so what do you feel different? Doesn't hurt as much. Get out of here. It feels looser. Feels looser. Automatically. Okay. Go ahead and move to the side for just a moment. We're going to slide this position here. I'm going to demonstrate to you here real quick what I want you to do. So we've got her sitting in this awesome low-level stool. And she's just going to make contact here with the actual foot pedals. And we're just going to turn the unit on and just get motion going. So I want her to actually get the ankle moving. So we're driving with the ball of the foot and just creating nice fluid circles. And right now I'm on a level two. So we'll see what she can tolerate and then we'll go from there. Okay, so go ahead on there, Nelly. If you haven't seen the new flex cycle, it's awesome. It's this like wonderful bike that you can have in your house 
that doesn't require much space, but very, very functional. Okay, what do you feel? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, awesome. Okay, I want you to think about driving with your, drawing big circles with the balls of your feet. There you go. All right. So let's see a little bit of here up and close. So you can see how things are working. Um, it's got this awesome little gear on there that you can turn to the right or to the left to increase or decrease intensity. And right now, it's just kind of um, casting through or going through the different settings that it measures. Tells us how much time we've been going, um, total strides. And of course, I haven't reset it from when I debuted this last week. So it's cumulative. Um, it keeps a cumulative tally until I reset it. Okay, so how easy is that, Nellie? Okay, so you're gonna turn the knob to the left. Nope, I'm sorry, to the right, my bad. There you go, so each time you hear a click, that's one level harder. So we're just gonna start with this level and see if you can tolerate a level three. Okay, and I want you to drive the energy using the balls of your foot, so I want you to feel your foot ankle moving up and down. There you go, now we're getting there. Whatever you feel on the right, I want you to replicate that feeling on the left, whatever it takes. I'm not gonna tell you how to do it because sometimes the best coaching is just kind of keeping your mouth shut and letting the body figure things out by using the uninjured ankle to kind of simulate to the injured ankle what you need to do. So what are you feeling? It's a lot harder, isn't it? Yeah. Woo! It burns. Burning. We are creating some adaptation here. Love it. Just as challenging as a regular exercise bike at the gym, right? Definitely. Definitely, except it's only like 150 bucks, something like that. I haven't checked the price on that lately, but hey, if you use the discount code AMBER10, you get a bigger discount off the lowest sale price. So it's an awesome deal. And you can carry that around with you wherever you wanna go. And you can switch off the foot pedal and put it on a hand pedal and put it on your countertop and use it as an arm bike. So if you have shoulder issues, it's great. Okay, we're starting to get a little slower. <laughs> starting to see a little sweat, little face glow going. That means we're getting some heart rate up. So for those of you who are trying to increase your cardiovascular, for Nelly, since she's not able to do her sprints and her approaches in the gymnastics world, she can push this flex cycle for a good 20, 30 minutes just to get her heart rate up to continue with cardiorespiratory um, cardio fitness so that when she goes back to gymnastics ready to launch, then she um, has got that cardio base still maintained without having to um, get herself built back up. So it's a great little device to use at home. Awesome. Okay, my dear, go ahead and turn back to the left. Let's go back down. Let's go down to all the way to a one. Good, one more click. Big click, there it is. Okay, now go ahead and give it a crank. A lot easier, right? Yeah. Picking up some speed. Now I want you to really focus on getting that left ankle moving more. So less action in the foot, more action in the ankle, and it's gonna suck, it's probably gonna hurt, it's gonna bend, it's gonna burn, but we need to get motion there going. So mentally work through that discomfort as best as you can, and the next time we do it will be a lot easier. What do you feel? It hurts now because I'm making her do something she doesn't want to do. But the good news is, is we're doing this in a controlled setting. So we have the ability to shut it down if it becomes too uncomfortable. And sometimes uh, in order to heal, you have to get out of your comfort zone just a little bit because your body actually enjoys staying in the comfort zone where life is safe and where the pain is under control. But in order to work through that and continue working through the joint, since we're not dealing with a fracture, we gotta push through just a little bit across that line in order for our brain to continue to adapt um, without it getting too comfortable where you're dysfunctional. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. 
All right, guys. So without further ado, I'm going to hop off here and get her going on some of my hand magic um, so that we can get her out the door, get her back to her normal life this evening. But just wanted to give you a little glimpse on how I use um, the Flex Cycle and the Rumblex Pro for an acute ankle injury, um, acute ankle sprain, and uh, you, you don't have to wait several weeks for your doctor to clear you to get on any of the devices, you can use it for your rehab. So um, if you're coming off of surgery for ankle issues or foot issues, and your doctor has said you can go ahead and start riding a bike, then you can get on the Rumblex, you can go ahead or on any of our um, vibration platforms, and uh, you can use the Flex Cycle at home. Total knee replacement, total hip replacement, knee injury, what, anything to keep those legs moving in a non-weight-bearing environment will help keep circulation and keep swelling out of those joint spaces. So um, thanks so much for watching and hope you have a great day. Bye.